This clip is a summary of the DVD Cuckoo Clock Repair Music Boxes. The purpose of the DVD is to educate the viewer about a number of music box configurations and to provide the viewer confidence should he attempt to repair one of these music boxes. This DVD is a sequel to the DVD Cuckoo Clock Repair, an example. Both DVDs are available from the Cuckoo Clock Hospital. The Music Box DVD is organized like this. It opens with the splash page you have already seen. The opening section includes the outline or block diagram and director's comments. The meat of the DVD surrounds the hub. Here are navigation buttons to four main DVD sections you see here. Music Box 101 is a tutorial about a vanilla music box. Here is a sample. It is a basic music box or a vanilla music box. If you understand this one, you will understand most of the others. There is an important component which controls when the music box starts and stops. That is the locking lever. The small spring pulls the left end of the lever against the side of the drum. The lever pivots and slides around a small screw. The hole in the lever is a slot rather than a round hole. The locking arm section describes various configurations of locking arms. Here is a couple of examples. In this clip, we will see a locking arm which only rotates about its pivot point as contrasted with arms which slide back and forth on the pivot point. In the meantime, as the drum rotated, the pin has come around on the drum and is now under the tip of the spring. Here are some samples from the challenges section. Movement pulls the wire down. A number of things happen. The entire T lever rotates counterclockwise. During one period of a week or two, I had two customers who asked me to repair clocks with the same distinct symptom. The clock would stop at 55 minutes after the hour. The double nickel. The grab bag contained some miscellaneous clips. The DVD on music boxes and the earlier one on the steps used to repair one cuckoo clock are available from the Cuckoo Clock Hospital.